gut brain axis is a uh, it's something we know since ever uh, so we know there is a connection between the gut and the brain and um, clearly this is something quite new uh, inside research and basic science but also clinical science and uh, in the last 20 years probably we started understanding a bit more uh, about this link and the way uh, the two uh, the brain and the gut will talk together and uh, try to uh, and how this uh, this will have an impact on our on our health first of all uh, looking at the brain connection and uh, neurological diseases uh, there are some proof of concept now studies in uh, several uh, neurological disorders such as Parkinson's disease or multiple sclerosis. Uh, while in epilepsy, we, we really just started on this, uh, this line. Uh, our level of understanding is, is, we must be honest, it's not, it's not that high at the moment. We know there is a link, we know there's something. Uh, we started manipulating uh, somehow the, the gut and the microbiota inside the gut uh, to, to look at results. And uh, it is obviously very promising, but it's, it's a long road to follow and the factors are so many. So it will take time, but uh, we are pretty confident for, for the future and uh, hope to, to find new pharmacological uh, treatments or pharmacological targets to, to be used in clinical practice. We know that this, uh, I mean, the mechanism is uh, more, more than one, obviously. Uh, the connection is a bidirectional uh, connection between the brain and the gut. So uh, anything that happens in to the brain will modify the gut somehow, but and, and on the same on the same way, uh, things happening on the gut will manipulate and modify by uh, what, what is happening into the brain, such as uh, excitability, or but not only also uh, behavior, like say anxiety or depression, uh, and, and many other feelings and so on. So uh, the, the mechanism, uh, as I said, uh, are many. So we can we know, for example, that inflammation to the gut can move uh, to the brain and have uh, use an inflammation to the brain uh, by different parameters, such as uh, cytokines or also the immune system. Uh, other ways are. Um, products uh, by the, the microbiota. So the microbiota can, have, uh, uh, can produce some molecules which will uh, go into the blood and uh, arrive to the brain and uh, uh, modify the, the, the functioning of the brain itself. But also some old structures such as the vagus nerve, for example, will uh, bring uh, the communication between the two. But also the other structures such as the liver, for example, will play a role inside of the system, but also the HPA axis, uh, the uh, so the the, the you call that in English, uh, the hypothesis and the, sorry, <laughs> the hypothesis and the uh, hormones as well. And, um, and so it, it, it is much complicated at the moment to understand which are the ones. Uh, the, the most, uh, uh, probably the most likely, most likely uh, solution is, is the fact that more than one will contribute uh, to the end of the day. And uh, when the other thing we have to keep in mind is the bidirectionality of the, the system. So uh, any any time we move one of the, the things inside the, uh, the 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 pitch, they call it like that. So we we, we look we are more like a, an all object now. You know, it's just all together. So anytime you move something somewhere, uh, something else will will just rearrange to uh, to lead to uh, an outcome which can be something good, something healthy, or can be enough. This alteration in this system is influencing both the uh, pathology, so the development of the pathology. Uh, so we're talking about epileptogenesis in this case. So it uh, can, can lead to uh, an increased excitability leading to seizures development, for example, but also in maintaining seizures. And, uh, it, it can, and we have some studies also on the clinical side that manipulating the microbiota, for example, can have an impact on, on seizure outcome as well. Uh, manipulating the microbiota means uh, in many ways. So we're talking about uh, probiotics, but also prebiotics, postbiotics, uh, antibiotics, for example, diet. Uh, we have the ketogenic diet, for example, in, in epilepsy. So uh, we have, we, this, is, this can be important from uh, many points of view. So both from the beginning in the development of disease, but also in treating the disease, but also as a biomarker to understand, for example, the prognosis of the, of the disease itself.